This little guy grades every trigger press. All right, guys, as we know, the ammo is all gone, and honestly, there's not gonna be any end in sight for quite a while, and so you're always wondering, man, what do I do to train and stay proficient? And I have the answer, because of course we know about dry firing, but what if you could do it with just this digital instructor that analyzed every trigger press you did? That is what the Mantis does. This little guy right here, just a Bluetooth connects to your phone or tablet or whatever, and it's got like these motion sensor gyroscopes in it that analyzes your trigger press and even more, and just the motion of the gun overall. Not only can you use it for dry fire, but you can use it for live fire, handguns of all types, and rifles, shotguns, and even archery. So it's pretty cool, and we'll get to some of that in a second. But first, I just want to show you how it works on this 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 handgun right here I'm gonna go into open training and we're on dry fire and we start so once you get it going you're just gonna want to do like your normal dry fire regiment just press out I'm shooting right at that tree right there and click and I have a 94.7 not bad we can try again I'm gonna go ahead and press out 86.8 didn't do too good on that double action I'll try again and 96.1 give me another one and then we'll show you some stuff 97.7, that's that's more like it. We go into the app and we're gonna stop our training right here. It shows our average score and all that. And then if you see on this graph, you see like there's a red spot down left. We can touch it and it'll actually show us what we're doing. So it's just like those old corrective targets in the past was like, you know, not the ones that say you suck, you suck, you suck, keep doing that. No, it'll show you like right here, it'll say you're slapping the trigger. So even though it's just a minute thing that I'm doing, cause I'm still scoring in the nineties, it's showing, hey, it's possibly because you're just slapping the trigger a little bit too much and how to correct it. And it'll do that all the way around the chart. And the more you shoot, so the more, oh, there's one to the top right. Let's see what that would have been. Anticipating recoil. Kind of odd if we're doing a dry fire, but that's the, that, that's the feedback it gives you on that digital side there. It'll give you this hold chart on the hold movement and trigger press movement, but this is the graph I really like and really think it's uh, the most useful. Let's zoom into my first shot here, and it, it is so little movement. We have to zoom in to actually see it. But the blue line is my hold movement. So once I just pressed out on target and was holding it, it's gonna show, and we can actually do it in live time, it'll, it'll, it'll draw that line. And then as your shot breaks, that's where that little white X is. And then the, uh, the, the yellow line is that vital one eighth of a second before the trigger press. So what were you doing right when you broke the shot? And that's what that yellow line is. And you can't even see a red line here, which means I had great follow up because let's, let's scroll. Surely I have a red line on one of the other ones. There's a tiny red line. The red line is how much the gun moved after the break. So if we're doing this in live fire, of course, we would see the, the whole recoil pattern of the gun as it would usually buck up on the, on the side. Wow, that 96 was so small. I gotta really zoom in. There's hardly any, any movement at all. 97 was there. Where's that double action? Okay, that's the one where you saw you saw a little bit more movement getting on target and then there was oh, that on that yellow. So that, that yellow was when I actually was pressing through on that double action shot and I moved the gun down a little bit. So pretty neat and a lot of different things that you can do with it. Now, one of my favorite things is just because you can train with your own handgun without any trigger modifications, without any lasers to have to put in or anything, and it'll even work in a light bearing holster. Because I have this works holster here and I'm gonna snap that light off and we can just put the Mantis onto this Glock here. It'll fit inside the, the holster. Now the retention is gonna be off because it's made for the light, but it's fine for range time and practice. And then we can do different drills with it here. When, uh, uh, well, while we got this going, I'll tell you what, let's go to the holster draw analysis. Now this is one just on the X10 version. The X10 version is the top of the line version that'll do all the live fire as well as archery and, and shotgun and all that stuff. And there's even a different app to that and we'll get it in a second. But I got the holster right here. And what this actually does is it'll, sh it'll draw a line as we draw onto target. So we're gonna holster and it knows it's holstered because the motion sensors knows the orientation of it. Okay, there it goes, we go up and I didn't have my strike already. Let's try that again. And I'm gonna turn it up so I can hear it. Stand by. Okay, it's ready, it knows I was, I was, I was in it. 
Alrighty. Draw up into target press. Point nine. All right, we're gonna try again, and because I'm gonna do about three of them here, and you can see what it actually does, and the lines that it'll draw for us, and give us a, uh, a a total graph to know what you're doing on draw, so you know how to how to fix it and be more consistent. Draw in, press. All right, we're gonna stop it there, and so you will see on the screen, so it breaks it all down. How long did it take you to get the grip, the pull, till the gun went horizontal, when you got on target, and how long it took to get your shot, and then the overall sh all overall draws were about 176, 193, which almost a full second on the aiming, as you can tell there. But here's the graph that I wanted you to see, because it draws each draw stroke straight up that path, and uh, that horizontal line, and so we can tell we're pretty consistent, but like on that first one, there's a bit of wavering to the left. So a lot of neat different things that you're gonna be able to find with this app that, uh, that will train you in all different types. But maybe you're saying, man, I don't have a rail on my gun. That's not gonna work. Ha ha, they have you covered, because I do have a rail on this Hellcat. So normally, if I'm just trying uh, dry fire presses, I'm going to use uh, the rail. However, they also sell a bunch, no, this is just their universal rail that came with the X10, but they sell magazine base plates altogether, so you can just pop off that base plate to put on another one, and then you can use your regular holster and do different drills with it. Now, it's easy to sit just in front of, you know, uh, uh, you know at home and do a lot of drills where you're just pressing, you know, 98, 99 at your own time. What you really want to do to spice things up is go to one of these with a timer. Uh, there's a shot timer, time benchmark, com so compressed surprise break is where it's going to give you a beep and you're going to have to hit the trigger as fast as you can. Primary and support hand only, reload drills, uh, hostage taker one. That's where I get the, uh, the most challenge out of it and get the crummiest shots because you're trying to race the clock. Uh, we'll just go to intermediate here. I see what that is. Okay, you have to you have a two and a half second time to break the shot, and it has to be at least a 85. Safety warning, guys. The Mantis has no kind of uh, barrel blocks or anything, so because you can use it live, make sure your gun is clear and clear and clear before you do any type of dry fire at any time. So we're gonna holster here, and I just want to demo one of these because this is the one where you know it can really mess with you because you're trying to do it so fast. So we're gonna wait for that, uh, that, uh, okay, there it goes. We're gonna get in on target and break. 97, 97 not bad, but I only had a 0.3 of a, uh, uh, a second to beat that two and a half second clock. So that's a fun drill there. Now, while we still got your attention, hopefully, if you have one already, head over to the groups and find the Top Shot Dry Fire. We have our own group going on there, and so we can see how you're training and how you're doing and how many shots, and we can have different challenges for the group, but it, it kind of works because you can be on with these guys like, hey guys, uh, yeah, I haven't see, seen you on practicing this week, you know, don't let those skills to go to waste. So that was some of the, that's the, most of it's gonna be done dry fire, but let's shut up and try live fire. So the best way for me to have crummy trigger presses is to rush the shot. So we're going to do a plate rack, kind of speed it up enough to hope that I miss one, and then we will see what those trigger press look like. I tell you, when I go live, because you know you only need accuracy of an 8-inch plate, it gets sloppy because you want to go fast. So we're going to go to live fire here, go to start. Oh, this is just open training, so it's not going to buzz me in. So I'm going to buzz in. Beep! I honestly tried to miss at least one, but um, let's see what it said anyway. We have, we're gonna stop it. Ooh, average score is 44, so that's how sloppy it was. This is so gonna mess me up in my group app. You are gonna see my scores just dropping now at the live fire range. Uh, so see, it goes all the way around showing us, hey, over here you're tightening the grip while you're pulling. Or uh, what's that second one there? Uh, same thing, just not as drastic, I suppose. This one, breaking up wrist, and this one is going to be thumbing, and we knew this one from earlier was anticipating recoil. But, let's see, let's swipe it over, and you can see how, uh, how, how we were, uh, our, our different movements were taking a different amount of time there. And then here's our charts, where it just showed us 
all over the place and getting on. Oh, that was the last shot. So the first shot, you, you could see my draw stroke coming up into it, getting on target, and then breaking the shot. Uh, was an 80 on that one, a 58 on that one, 47. We moved a bit there, and five. What happened? But we still hit the plate. And 8.6. I got enough rounds. Let's do it again. I really tried to go fast enough to miss, but they still all hit. Uh, let's stop and see what they wore. We have 91, uh, 7. The first shot was great. 46, 12, 31, 17, and a 4.6. But we still hit our targets down. But you can see, let's, let's see this dancing around. My gracious, that was me getting on target. Pretty neat. But now that I see the way it traces, I want to see what the archery app does. Let's set up for that. All right, I changed my mind. I, uh, after scrolling through and seeing some of those numbers, I'm like, no, I need to redeem myself <laughs> from those really low scores. So we're gonna try to do some 50 yard shooting and see what that looks like on the app. Ninety-six. Ninety-four. Ninety-two. 96, 95, that's more like it. That'll bring my, because I know the group's gonna be like, why are you shooting fours? Okay, precision shots work a lot better. And that group looks pretty darn good too. One last note before we take it off the pistol is just how accurate the sensor is, where it reads really every shot, and I could never fake it out. I always wondered like, you know, how does it know a dry fire click from a, and it, and, and it just does. Uh, so you can see, okay, there's live fire CO2. That's right, it will work with blowback airsoft and such. Go to dry fire again. And here, I'm just gonna rack the slide a bit, kind of whack on it, all that. Okay, no, no, what about this? No, no, it, it, it knows that that's not a shot and it knows that 92. that is. It's just, it's impressive. It's impressive how accurate that sensor works. 85. Cool. It's archery time now. We have the archery app open, and this is something that only the Mantis X10 series does. You gotta get the, the high-end one there. Um, open training, it does compound or recurve, left or right hand, so we're gonna set that up and go to trace. This is where we're gonna show what we do. Let's launch it. All right, so we're about 40 yards away. I got a 90.4. I'll take that, being that I haven't shot archery in quite a while. Uh, so you see your, your, your first line of, of aiming there, and you see our wiggle line as we try to uh, get our, you know, we're gonna have a little bit of wiggle out there. And so I was, I was wondering about that because, you know, with a pistol you do, with a, no, a bow you really do. Let's send another one. That one I felt like I pulled a little left. Maybe that's what I'm seeing there because that yellow line is our right before re the release button and then the red is our trace after the shot was fired. And then we can go and you can see pitch and cant. It looks like I was very um, uh, consistent there. Our timer, this is neat. It shows you how long it took you to set up and how long you held your shot and your split time. And then placement. I can't really see my arrows from 40 yards, but we can drag in where they hit just to keep our own little history uh, our, ourself there. Oh, so we're shot two, shot one, we can say uh, it hit, hit over here, and so on. So a pretty neat tool to have in your archery toolbox. So when you select rifle in the Mantis app, it gives you an entirely different set of instructions when you do something different. You know, it doesn't just use the pistol ones, it actually caters to the rifle one, which honestly, for myself, I, I probably need a little work on. So we're gonna press start here, and punch, just punch out and shoot, and dry fire. Yeah, I know I was moving on that one. 73 is what I <laughs> deserve. Try again, let's try to be more steady. 96.5 but yeah so you know that's where it's coming from practical accuracy to um precision is is is, is what we're seeing here one more all right i was kind of swinging into it but the 88.9 that's 88.8 that's a good one let's go live so i'm gonna back it up and go to open training again say this time is live put a mag in 
And let's see what we get. Let's just, just kind of dump on that target. Try, I'll try to do some good shots and then end up with some not so good shots. I pulled that one. Whoo, a little gassy. All right, so when I was rushing it, I ended up all the way at 65. Let's see what the rest were, just because I'm curious. You got to see. I didn't get to. I'm going to go back just to the summary. So it looks like, uh, okay, so you can tell my first shots that were well taken, except for that second one. I, I pulled low. I was going for the head. <laughs> But then when I started just blasting, the shots went down. So it does its job. So that is pretty slick. There you go, guys. So that's the Mantis X-10. If you want the one that does the live fire, the dry fire, the archery, the holster analysis, oh, a recoilometer. I didn't talk to you about that. It'll engage how well you control the recoil and all the angles and stuff like that. And uh, the shotgun as well. It retails for $249. However, if you're like, man, I'm only going to use it for dry fire, because really that's the majority of what I use it for, that's the X2. You can get that at $99. And then if you just want the live fire and dry fire, but without the uh, extra motion sensor stuff, like for archery and whatnot, that's the X3, and that's $169. So, you know, whatever you want, they have it. I guarantee, though, that you're going to improve your skills, because... I use it all the time because I see it improving my skills much better than just dry fire training because you get that real feedback, you get the whole history, and then, you know, you can make your own groups and stuff and train with others online and stuff, fun stuff like that. I'll leave a link somewhere up and down wherever you're at watching that you can check it out. Thanks for watching today, guys. Okay, I love you. Bye-bye. Did you see that? Come on, Nasi! Come on, Nasi! Yeah. I came in like a wrecking ball! Yeah! Oh, perfect! <laughs> Yeah!